NYPD reaching a contract agreement with the union today, just days after the tragic killing of Minneapolis police officer Jamal Mitchell. And while the city council still needs to approve it, this deal would make Minneapolis one of the highest paying police departments in the state by the end of next year. Fox News Courtney Godfrey joins us now. And Courtney, tell us about the timing of all this. Well, first off, Randy, these officers have been working without a contract since December of 2022. So they've been trying to reach a deal for over a year now. And for more years than that, they've been working for less than what some suburbs pay. So while the mayor says this is a good contract, the timing of all this with Officer Mitchell's death only five days ago is certainly very hard. It's a very, very difficult time uh, for the members of the department. In their first one-on-one -on -one interview since the killing of Officer Jamal Mitchell, Mayor Jacob Fry and Police Chief Brian O'Hara clearly struggle to move on to the next order of business. This sucks that we're here doing this, frankly, um, but the timing is what it is. Still fresh off the loss of one of their own, they share news of a tentative contract agreement, something officers have been without for a year and a half now. If we want to be able to rebuild this department um, in a way to provide the level of service that our residents deserve, we need to have a contract and compensation uh, that will give us at least some hope of attracting uh, sufficient numbers of people like Jamal to come here and choose us. With back pay, the contract will give veteran officers a whopping 21% pay raise over the next year, making Minneapolis police some of the highest paid officers in the state. These are dangerous circumstances where they're putting their lives on the line. They deserve to be compensated for that. Mayor Jacob Fry saying the agreement will also take authority away from the union and give it back to the police chief, something he believes is good for reform. This helps to give the chief the authority to make the kind of change that everybody purports to want. But the contract still needs approval from city council and not all are a sure thing. This, as O'Hara says, this passage is their only hope of hiring more quality officers like Mitchell. We need to pass this thing. It would send a terrible, terrible message, especially at this time, uh, to the men and women, the few that are left here, who refuse to turn their backs on the residents to feel like City Hall is turning their back on them. Oh, you can just see the grief on O'Hara there. That pay increase will happen over time, starting with a 5.5% increase July 1st. More than 80% of union members approved this contract. Randy? All right, Courtney, thank you.